Hey, my friend, this is Mabel. In 1606, Dutch imported the first batch of tea from Marco Chilean. Someone thinks it's oolong tea, although the others think it's most likely black tea. Either way, it indicates that oolong tea has a very long history. So, this lesson, we are going to learn oolong tea. And after this lesson, you tell me your thoughts. It's oolong tea or black tea. Lesson 6, oolong tea. Again, how to spell oolong tea, oolong cha in Chinese tea, oolong cha, yes, okay, oolong cha, so, yes, it's very simple, mm -hmm. U, yes, U, the first time, long, long means dragging, oolong cha, oolong cha, oolong cha, U long cha, okay, u long cha. Uh, there was a time that all the u long tea was named as ching cha, means dark green tea. So someone mistook all the kinds of tea as long as that in dark green color, it's u long tea. Mm -hmm. Also, yes, like the Iron Goddess, the um, Taiwan's Wulong Tea, oh yes, they are in dark green. However, not all the Wulong Tea are in dark green color. So, yes, from to the arm, you prefer to see Wulong Tea instead of Qing Cha. Okay, let's have a look. The top two famous Wulong Tea. The first one, of course, that big red rope, big red rope, Da Hong Pao, Da Hong Pao, which is the top grade of the Rock Hurong. Top famous Rock Hurong originates in Kore area in Wuyi Mountain, Fujian Province. Growing in those rocks has very good flowery and fruit aroma and metal taste. Yes, that's the on high end top grade of rock room. yes and there are some very yes legendary story about Chairman Mao and President Nixon you can google it online yes and the other famous oolong tea is the Iron Goddess uh, originates in South Fujian in Anxi County mm -hmm. as you can see yes this is typically in dark green color uh -huh. However, the rock oolong da hong pao actually is in brown, dark brown color. Mm -hmm. The tea soup looks quite like some amber or the um, orange, orange. Uh -huh. So they have, they have significant, significant differences. Okay, that's why we should call oolong tea instead of um qing cha. Mm -hmm. Regarding the arranging, yes, like I introduced you, Fujian is a versatile place. It's the arranging, it's a star, it's a hometown, it's the birthplace of what tea we learned last lesson. Uh, it's the start of oolong tea and it's the birthplace of black tea as well. We are going to learn it in next lesson. Uh, yes, because we are in the North Fujian, that in Wuyi Mountain. The popular town can be dated back to Tang Dynasty, like the scholar man Sun Qiao. Yeah, Sun Qiao, Sun Qiao, Sun Qiao. He wrote in his book, um, he likes tea and he sent his friends some 15 kinds of tea. At that time, he praised, he treated the, this. 15 kinds of tea as 15 gentlemen mm -hmm. and uh, mentioned that mm, this tea originates the, those tea are from the Fujian, Fujian.